Hello everyone, it's David from Automotive Press. Guess what? I'm in front of all these TNGAF platform vehicles. And of course, the star of the show is a 2025 Toyota 4Runner, which this one is a TRD Pro. But before I get into that one and measure the gaps and so forth, let me just quickly give you a recap of what's happening with all these TNGAF platform vehicles. Because they share so much more components and features than ever before, they are all more like a cousins than they were before when the uh, components and so forth were not shared as much. So for example, we have the Land Cruiser 250 series. This is the first edition. Uh, this is also TNG F platform built in Tahara plant in Japan. Uh, exactly the same wheelbase, 112, as a 4Runner TRD Pro. For that matter, every 4Runner has the same uh, wheelbase with uh, Land Cruiser. And of course, it's very closely related model, Lexus GX almost identical to this one as well. Engineer in Japan, built in Japan, uh, and the chief engineer is Mr. Moritsu, who I met a few times, uh, very humble Japanese, chief engineer who is really knowledgeable about off-roading and also about designing something beautiful. So this one is very special, same engine as the 4Runner TRD Pro and Troa Hunter, which is the new 2.4 turbo with hybrid, plenty of power and torque. But beautiful finish, uh, very special that Land Cruiser came back. And then we have the all-new 2024 Tacoma. And this one is the uh, Trail Hunter model that we have right now, which is a new model. And we are going to get Trail Hunter for the 4Runner as well. Built in Mexico, there are two factories that build the uh, Tacoma. And um, before it was built in Texas along the Tundra, but it moved over to Mexico a number of years ago. But quality is still very good and uh, same powertrain basically as a 4Runner because uh, from B, Pelio forward, from here forward, the 4Runner and Tacoma shares basically everything. The components, the features, the engineering, powertrain, suspension, identical. And then from B, Pelio backward because it's a pickup truck and the 4Runner is a SUV. The uh, 4Runner shares more of the back end with the Land Cruiser than it does with the Tacoma. So that's something that's unique to keep in mind. Uh, Chief Engineer Sheldon Brown spent uh, extensive time with them talking about some of the engineering underneath, comparing the Tacoma to Forerunner. So more of that discussion coming along. Very knowledgeable, very capable Chief Engineer. And he said that he talks to Moritsu, who is the Chief Engineer from Land Cruiser, almost every couple of days and they have a joint collaboration meeting every week. So even though it's designed and engineered in Japan, in the case of Land Cruiser, designed and engineered in the US, in the case of uh, Tacoma, actually the collaboration is so extensive that I'm not sure if you can actually say one was designed exclusively in Japan versus the US. That's not the case at all. So in the case of um, this one here, the Tundra, you guys are all familiar with that. I own the 2022 Tundra. TRD Pro for that matter, built in uh, Texas along with the Sequoia. These are the twin models, 3.4 liter twin turbo V6 engine, uh, iconic model as well, big changes for 2022. And you guys know about the Tundra a lot. So I'm not gonna say too much about this one, uh, other than that I have to be careful going down this hill. But I will say that um, the Sequoia and the Tundra are literally identical, but I always liked the Sequoia design a little bit better, a, a bit cleaner front end compared to Tundra. Uh, but there has been some compromises on the Sequoia in terms of the space in the back, as you guys know. And that has a lot to do with the fact that the Sequoia was going to get dropped during one of the earlier development time because the market for Sequoia is so small. And one of the arguments for keeping the Sequoia and allowing it to come to North America again is to lower the cost so that it doesn't cost so much additional money to design this out of a Tundra. And that's why they had to keep so much of the Tundra components and carry it over to the, um, the Sequoia. And that's why it lost the independent rear suspension as well. And the hybrid uh, motor takes up so much space in the back. So there's some challenges, but very robust, tough vehicles. Both of these, I really enjoy driving it. So much space in terms of the passenger space. And I still think they're one of the best trucks, truck and in this case, an SUV. Uh, and I really enjoy them. I love the 3.4 turbo V6. I know some of you guys are a little bit concerned about um, long-term uh, durability and long-term uh, issue with uh, that engine. But you know what? I spoke to Sheldon Brown about this too. Some turbocharger issue that they had earlier, which was to do with uh, 
with the wastegate, that was solved very quickly within a very short time and that problem never came back again. So you don't need to worry about the quality of the Tanjira and Sequoia. I think they're well made and I still recommend them. Other than I don't really like the color too much. The Terra color, which is a new 2024 TRD Pro color. I'm not sure if I like that. Uh, but let's come back to this one here. This is the most important one right now. Forerunner TRD Pro. Uh, this was the new color called the Mud Bath. And I'm assuming Therefore, this color, which is like a light beige metallic, could be the 2025 TRD Pro exclusive color. So that's what I'm predicting because this is new and it's on this particular model, uh, but not on the 2024 Tacoma because this is a 2025. Uh, keep in mind that um, in terms of uh, design and engineering, as I mentioned earlier, B pillar forward, it's all Tacoma. Interior is almost identical as well. This one has the glossy black over fender here compared to the Trail Hunter, which is matte plastic. Also, TRD Pro has the Fox suspension compared to the Trail Hunter, which has the uh, old uh, man emu design. So there's some differences there, um, but um, the basic design forward here, again, same as Tacoma interior, same as Tacoma B pillar backward, engineered to be more like a Land Cruiser with a similar platform underneath, similar design for the frame, uh, and as well as the suspension pieces are very similar to Land Cruiser. So if you want to put it this way, you're getting basically kind of Land Cruiser type vehicle, almost the same size, in fact, a little bit bigger than Land Cruiser at a significantly lower price. We don't know how much lower yet, but it should be cheaper. So I think the 400 is now the most valuable, most sought after TNGAF platform SUV from my perspective because the price is going to be good. It's going to be good value. It looks great. And you have so many new models, not just the TRD Pro, but the Trail Hunter, as well as a new um, grade above the Limited called the Platinum. Beautiful vehicle, well-engineered. And you know that the chief engineer for Forerunner is the same chief engineer as the Land Cruiser, Mr. Modi too. So you know he has taken all his uh, passion, energy to building and designing this vehicle. And therefore, you know they're going to be amazing. We're going to finish off by doing a quick quality check of the 4Runner TRD Pro. I did the run on Trail Hunt already. So it's about 3.9 here, 3.5. And these are, again, prototype 3.9. A bit better here at 3.5. And actually pretty good here at 3.5. So more or less the same as the Trail Hunter, which I measured a little bit earlier, maybe a little bit uh, wider here. But again, this is a prototype and, you know, I'll bet if I measure this side, it's going to be a little bit narrower. Yep, yeah, three millimeter here, three millimeter here as well. So the hood is a bit uh, out of alignment. It needs to be pushed that way a little bit more. But overall panel alignment and quality is excellent. This is built in Tahara. So normally in the production car, you'll see a J in the front of the VIN number, uh, built by some of the most experienced Japanese production workers. So I expect nothing short of perfection. And sure enough, 3.9 there, 3.8, 3.7, and it's all flush, really beautifully made. Good paint job, very little orange peel. I know they went through some changes with the uh, paint process, and I can tell that the paint has substantially improved for the new generation TNGAF platform vehicles because the gloss is good, the clear coat looks really nice and thick. And once again, almost zero orange peel and lots of these metallic flakes, which are not easy to evenly distribute. So they did a wonderful job with the paint. All the plastic components look great. Um, the grills has a glossy black, so that might be a little bit difficult to keep uh, scratch free, but looks nice here and here. Again, rigid fog lamps that can change color from white to yellow. Beautiful design and you get a hood scoop on this one, which you don't get it on a Trail Hunter. And so if I were to buy a 4Runner, this would be the model to buy. This is the one I would like to get. Now keep in mind that uh, if you look inside just briefly for a moment, it's again identical to the um, Tacoma TRD Pro. Even the seats and the basic dash design is the same. Just some minor differences here and there. I think the grab handle here looks a little bit different, but otherwise everything is the same. Um, but you do not get um, you do not get the isodynamic seats. So sorry, the seats are not the same because we get a regular seat. And actually, 
I'm happy about that because if we end up with the isodynamic seats from the TRD Pro in the Tacoma, which sticks out like this, you lose so much of leg room in the back, and that might be okay if you're not carrying passengers in the rear, but you will definitely do that in the Forerunner. So I'm glad that um, they decided to keep a normal Forerunner TRD Pro seats here, as opposed to putting the isodynamic seats with all the all the valves and so forth going on in the back, which takes up so much space. Uh, pretty good room inside, still pretty roomy. This seat doesn't slide forward and backward anymore like it used to. I think you guys remember that I've owned seven different types of Forerunners in the past. So this time I'm thinking that maybe I will try to buy the Land Cruiser 250 instead of the Forerunner, just because I haven't owned the Land Cruiser before and I want to own that for once in my lifetime. So that's my kind of a direction I'm going right now. I've got a deposit on the 250 Land Cruiser in Heritage Blue. Hopefully it'll arrive sometime this year. If that doesn't work out, then I will probably end up buying the TRD Pro or Trail Hunter version of the Forerunner uh, because I already own the uh, Tundra and I don't need a big truck. And for now, I don't think I'm gonna buy the Tacoma because I'd rather buy the Forerunner. But let me know in the comments below what you guys think of all these TNG F platform vehicles and also what you think I should do in terms of future purchases. I'm kind of curious as to what uh, you want me to talk about also. So give me some comments. If you can give me thumbs up as well, that'd be appreciated. And if you haven't done so yet, would you kindly subscribe as well. Until next video, I'm signing off for now. Thank you so much.